Page 24, Long Hull. 4-4 four, four time, one sharp in the key signature. We seem to be in the key of E minor here. Because it has one sharp. So make sure you can do the scale on E minor. Right hand first, let's check notes and figurings and rhythms and all that. I'm just play everything connected more or less. You're down here, one. You're holding that down for seven counts. And then in the next measure on the fourth count, four and one and, and you're holding that down a whole bunch more. Isn't this fun? Measure four. On the fourth count, four and one and two. And you're holding that down for a long time. Isn't this wonderful? And then let's go over to measure nine. Now we get to come up here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and three and on measure ten. One and two and three and you cross over. And at the end of that line, it's four and. Same rhythm as before, but different notes. And go over to measure 14. Just come up. Four and. They're saying three one. I don't understand that, because four one works fine. I would do four one there. I see no reason for three. You're going to need three later on, but right now four is fine. And then, then, at, then at the end of measure 16, now you need third finger. And you're doing that some more. Just go down to measure 21. You're up here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. You've had that rhythm before, right? Left hand. The left hand gets all the fun stuff. It's got this ostinato pattern going. This constant thing going on this rhythm. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two. Reach up. The rhythm is very repetitious. But you're just going from different chords. Really is what it is. Put the hands together here. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. The left hand there, measure eight, at the end is third finger. It gets you closer to where you want to be. You can use second finger if you want and then do a five two if you want. But five one is probably a little better. I don't know. So measure eight, you're here. Third finger on that last note there, and the right hand comes up. You're not moving in the left hand so much, because you, if you get third finger on that, you've taken care of the move for the left hand. So you can concentrate on the move for the right hand, going from here to here. So measure nine. One and two and three and four and... And then here. One. first, and then you can use fifth for the next one. Let's go to measure 13. You're here. Okay, third finger on that last note there on measure 16. So 17. One and two. at the end is third finger again. And the third finger for 23 at first and then you can change it to fifth. You don't have to go that fast. The idea is to try and get the rhythm of the two hands worked out. And then we can add the articulation. For the most part, you see in the, at the beginning it says LH legato. That means left hand legato, which means play the left hand all connected. But in the right hand you got slurs. You can lift up there. Now 
Now when you get to measure nine, there's an accent on the left hand. Don't get too carried away with it because you're down low. It's easy to get too carried away. So careful with that one. On, on. Well, let's get into it. Say measure seven here. Accent. Bum, bum. And then at the end of the page in the right hand, two accents, give them a little extra in the right hand. And then, uh, again, measure 14 and 15, accent. Just the first one is accented. Measure 22, ac staccato accent. So forth. And the last, they want an accent on the last note. This is very loud. I don't know about the accent. Just play it very loud, but clutch the wrist a little bit. Don't stiffen up. Dynamic wise, it's more for the, well, actually, on this piece, it's both hands. The problem is the left hand's way down here. It's easy to drown out the right hand, so pull back on the left hand a little bit, and they can still sound the same even though you're playing the left hand softer. It just works that way. You can follow the dynamics as well as I can, I'm sure, probably better. Then the speed. Well, it's a march tempo. My tendency is to speed this up because it's fun, but a march tempo is a rough, right, left. Right, left, right, left. to play this with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. Not going to do the dynamics. I'll try and do the accents, but otherwise, no. Now give us four counts. Let's try it together. One, two, ready, and go. And one, and two. Four and one and two. 